Morning everyone and welcome to the Wednesday class. I can't believe it, but it's the last Wednesday of November. That means we are on the 11th meridian out of 12. We've just got one more to do and we will have finished our epic journey around the meridians. Joan's the first to post on the chat. Please say hi on the chat. Let's see who, who we've got. We've got, um, it's always lovely to see so many regulars coming back every week. And um, there's Chris, James, Liz, great to see you. And we've got basically, like I say, one month left before we finish our epic journey around the meridians. With this last Wednesday, just managed to squeeze a fifth Wednesday in this month, we've got another point of the week. We've got another gallbladder point, which is actually a really, really useful point. And I'm going to kind of, I've been thinking about today, and I think I'm going to kind of build the session a little bit around that whole point because it's so useful but I will reveal the point later in the session. and We can find out, first of all, how you, how you are all doing as a group. We'll figure out how you're doing. Um, and uh, do you know what I thought we'd do is, what I'd do is um, um, Pascal, Simonetta, Anne, Mary, Anya Grace, and Browden, Brondwen, Brondwen, sorry, yeah. Um, what I thought I'd do is I'd run the poll on how are you coping, the poll that we started the whole thing off um, way back in 2020 when we started these things. I just want to just check in with you, just see how you're doing. I like doing this every few weeks just to get an idea. Um, so are you coping well? You're okay, neutral, bit st stressed or very stressed. So if you could just see how we're doing as a group. Okay, thank you very much for that. Look, we've got nearly half of you saying that you're okay or coping well. So that's really good. And so those of you who are stressed or are just neutral, let's see if we can just kind of raise everything up as we go through today. Right, good. So we start off with the whole body scanning um, and, the, um, and the burner scans. And then I think also I'd like to find out where in your body um, you're, you're getting this block and whether you think it's physical or emotional. I've got a couple of poles lined up for that. So let's get straight on. I've got my clipboard here. So we're straight on and do our scanning and see how we're doing. Always a good idea, I think, once a week, just to tune in, just to take a moment to just kind of arrive and find out how we're doing, both individually as a, and as a group. I really enjoy this part of the week. So I'm going to put my um, clipboard ready and I'm just going to stand and you can maybe do this with me. You can do it standing or sitting. We're going to scan down through our whole field. I like to start off above my head, so I've got my attention kind of here, and I'm kind of closing my eyes, feeling the space above your head, and then down through the actual skull itself. Um, we've actually got the crown chakra right here on the top of the head, so we're just kind of feeling what that's like. That's where the uh, magical golden thread holds us up and connects us to the heavens. So this kind of area here, this space here is quite an important area to kind of tune into. Go through here and then we can connect that with the rest of the skull and the head. And then once we get to here, we've got a lot of sense organs going on here. So it's worth tuning in, first of all, to the ears. How do they feel? And then, of course, the eyes, very important, feeling out the sensation around the eyes. And then we've got the sinuses as well, which are all linked to the stomach channel, which are all here, stomach and large intestine channel right on the front of the head. And then we've got the mouth, obviously, start of the digestive system. All those things are very important to scan through. <clears throat> and then we have the, thre um, the throat and the neck. We've got the throat chakra itself, very important for expression and everything, just a really good area to keep very relaxed and we do some very specific work on that when we get round to the meridians in the neck because some of them are very useful for keeping that whole area clear and then we get down to the shoulders another place that's favorite place for collect for collecting tension tuning into the shoulders all the way down the arms into the hands just to see if there's any obstructions or anything there and then we can scan down through the whole torso. So when we're scanning down, we're scanning down through the spine as well, the spine and the front of the body, all the way down, the diaphragm, and then down, and I'm scanning down through my back, all the way down through the spine, okay.
Yeah, and then we go down into the hips, knees, ankles, and feet. Okay. And then it's quite a good idea to kind of step back from yourself kind of thing and look at the whole process, the whole process that we've just been through in overview and just see if there's any particular places or areas that you feel attracted to and turn that into an image and that becomes our whole body scan, our own whole body scan. So we're just going to do a quick drawing here of what's happening. It can be very abstract or it can look like a person, it's up to you. Okay, I've got my whole body scan. All right, and now it's time to do the three burner scan. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to scan through all three burners. Let's start at the top today, just for a bit of a change. We're just going to start with the upper burner, which is this area here above the diaphragm and around into the thoracic spine. So I'm going to close my eyes, tune into the upper burner. Get a sense of what that's like, and then go down to the middle burner, that's this area here. Just again, tuning into this area, seeing what that's like. And then the lower burner, that's below the navel and around into the sacrum, and into here. And again, what is that like? So we're comparing the upper, middle, and the lower. Okay, very good, excellent. So now I'm going to draw my three banner scan. I'm going to run some polls in a minute, just in a second. I'm just going to draw my three banner scan. Hey, it's a little bit different this week. This is so interesting to do this every week, even just for a few minutes, just to che check in, find out how we are, um, and then we can do some polls on that. So I've got a few polls that I'd really like to um, ask you. I'd like to just ask you, first of all, where in your body you'd like to work. Um, that gives us an idea. So you can find a block or a weakness somewhere in your whole body scan, and you will pick up. Uh, just let give us a, an idea in the poll where the most important parts are and we can use that to design the session as a group as we go on okay okay quite an even distribution actually we've actually in previous polls like that we've had much more emphasis on the head and shoulders so i think that's a good thing it's more spread out through the whole body so that's really interesting anyone else want to vote um, I know that if you've got an iPad, sometimes the voting doesn't work so well, but anyway. Um, okay, so now I've got the, the burner scan. Let's say I'm going to find out which burner do you want to work on most today. I'm going to just share that with you. Got a bit of a change with my let's just see how because we've had some pretty big shifts over the over the year we've had a very some very big movements between the middle and the upper burner over the year so let's just see where we're at today and look at this this is very interesting this is much more even right the way through look at that I think that's the most even distribution we've actually had for a long time unless there's a few more people want to vote uh-huh the upper burner is starting to move out move ahead again and that's been the pattern over the last few weeks the upper burner has been um the, the most dominant meridian okay cool so i just want to also just have a think about your body scan tune into that and just ask yourself a question do you think that what you're feeling there is a physical or emotional thing 
or is it both or are you not sure so and um, that's the reason i'm asking you that question is because we can think about the emotional aspects of the meridians um, and the connections so we've got a pattern here good distribution we've got upper burner as the most dominant although we've got fairly even spread and look at that we've got the vast majority of you think that it's both emotional and physical so that's interesting isn't it some of you actually think it's purely an emotional thing as well and purely physical okay the great thing about the meridians of course is when we're working with them is that all the meridians have emotional associations and that's why i kind of open that up uh, that kind of idea up because the point of the week has both physical and emotional associations with it as you might imagine and so we can explore that as we go on okay excellent so we're going to work up we're going to work up towards the calming the upper burner we've actually got it's come out 42 percent upper burner actually by the time everyone had voted so one of the main things we need to do there looking at that whole distribution there is basically we need grounding we need to be able to get the upper burner as secure as we can here is one question i would ask and that is would it do you feel it's more uh, the lungs or the heart. So I might actually just ask that now on the fly, if you just give me a second. I'm just gonna say, I'm just gonna do a very quick poll here. Um, do you think it's, do you think it's more lungs or heart or both? Question mark, okay, so I've, we've got lungs. The upper burner is basically dominated by the lungs and the heart, but it could be both. Kind of feeling, a general feeling in the upper burner. This is basically for people who have chosen the upper burner. Okay, so here we go. Here's a poll on the, on the fly, <laughs> just to show you it is live and it is spontaneous. And let's see what we've got. Now, sometimes I do wonder that about when we do the burners, you know, which of the, which of the different regions are involved here? And look at this, this is fascinating, everyone. Absolutely fascinating. We've got pretty much an even division between heart and lungs. And we've got a large proportion, a large proportion saying it's both. So it's a general upper burner um, thing. Okay, so we better get to work here. So let's, uh, first of all, just stand up. And uh, we're gonna do, first of all, is just again, just kind of arriving in our body going to do some shaking just to get rid of any superficial tension and this again can link with the point we'll be later on let's get in touch with our golden thread holding us up from the top okay, and opening up the feet and ankles feeling ourselves on the ground okay now what we do generally is we're going to generally shake our energy downwards through the body and we're going to try and release any tension in the upper body and move it downwards and then we're going to build up the yin energy from the earth okay so let's just start off by getting that shaking going and imagining this upper part of my body is gently being pulled up and down and now it's a case of creating space so we want to create space in our shoulders space in the jaw space in the throat Okay, space in the rib cage, front and back. Now, if you're feeling a bit more tired and weak, you want to keep it really general, keep the breathing going. If you're feeling a bit kind of blocked and tense, and you can shake it a little bit stronger, particularly if you've got anywhere particular in your body that you want to work. So we're going to just shake this down. Okay, then we get down into the hips. We're gonna just shake out the hips. Um, and then we're gonna try and shake the internal organs here. The reason for that is because really all the internal organs should be kind of fluid and moving about. If there's any tension in the body, especially the, like the diaphragm, maybe some of the digestive organs, it's quite a good idea just to move them about Keep the breathing going and try and get the whole 
abdominal um, organs, just to shake up generally, just shake gently, and to just massage the underneath bit of the diaphragm like this. And then we can breathe in. Okay, and as you breathe in, you'll notice that that compacts down. You can feel the kind of movement down into the diaphragm here, and this should open up more. And then breathing out, shake this area again, and just let all the um, digestive organs, the internal organs, just move around freely as possible inside the body. Okay, excellent. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is really get that, establish that grounding, especially as we've got so many uh, of the group who've got stuff going on in the upper body, and we've also got a preponderant upper burner stuff, especially the heart and the lungs, even the okay? So basically what we want to do is we want to tonify the yin because we don't want to be walking around this, okay? We want to be nicely connected to the earth, where we can relax. Everything can calm down and become relaxed and steady. So let's start off with the famous kidney bum. I'm going to get my chair over here, ready. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to add in some extra stuff now for the um, working the feet because we're going to build up to our point of the week. And you know that this month we've been working on the gallbladder channel which runs right away from the eyes, all the way down the body, right away from the shoulder, down the sides. It goes down and it connects with the feet and it actually finishes on this little toe here. Second to little, little toe. And it runs through the ankle this way, through this very important point here in the ankle. So, and it runs up the side here. There's quite a lot of sensitive points here on the side. So I thought what we'd do is open up the, before we work kidney one, let's open up this uh, foot here because what we're doing with this is we're opening up liver channel and this particular part of the foot here is really important to keep uh, open and if you're a middle burner person okay and if you feel this area is stiff it's a good chance you've got some liver stagnation going on in the middle burner um, and really a good place to start working it's really opening this area here getting this so that if so this movement here can you see that if I move my Foot like that you want this movement between the first between the, the big toe and the second toe you want that to be as free as possible to open up the liver channel okay and then you want to stretch this bit here and open up this part of the foot going down to this toe here to open up the gallbladder channel now talking about physical and emotional remember we did that poll okay the Gallbladder is to do with decision making and on an emotional level it's to do with kind of like being able to organize things um, and if it doesn't go well then you can get things like irritability and anger, um, that kind of thing, okay? So if you're feeling a bit irritable and you're a middle burner person, I recommend that you open up this part of your foot and pull this little toe just to help yourself along. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Good, okay, good. So we cleared the gallbladder channel out. Now we've got, the, we've got the foot nicely opened up, ready to do more yin tonifying, which is tonifying kidney one. This is the point that anchors the yin of the body. It's really important for all of the vibrational level, um, all of the burners, especially the upper burner, because there's a strong link between the kidneys, the lower burner, and the breathing and the uh, heart regulation, okay? So, which we can explore a little bit later on. Open this up. Let's get this activated. Open this up, get this kidney one really opened up. We put the sock back on because it's a little bit cold here. 
Okay, so let's do a really good job like we did on the other foot. We're going to get that wood element, the liver and the gallbladder um, meridians opened up. So what we're looking to do is open the foot this way, opening the foot out this way, putting my fingers right into here. See that? That's between the first and the second toe around here. See that? I'm working around here. I'm opening the foot out this way just to make sure this area here is free particularly for those middle burner people. Okay, you wanna make sure that that area is as free as possible. That's liver three. It's very important for moving the liver chi. And also it tonifies the liver blood as well. So if you've got an ir if you're irritable, a little bit irritable, you've got dry eyes, maybe um, feeling a bit stiff in the tendons, stuff like that, then this is a really good point for that. Okay, and then you've got your gallbladder tone. Give that a bit of a pull. <laughs> Open that up. Get the foot really warmed up and then we're off. And kidney one. Okay, so we're tapping away. Get that basically opened out. Remember where it is, of course, it's one third of the distance down the midline of the foot. So it's right into here. Okay, excellent. So what we'll do now is we'll tonify the lower burner with the breathing and with some doing, and then we'll link it with the middle burner, and that's when I can introduce point of the week, which we can build into that process, which is basically grounding, calming ourselves down, and getting some free movement in the body. Okay, and I'll just show you how that works in a moment, if I can get my sock on the right way around. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so it's checking in now to see how we feel. Okay, let's see what that's like. So standing. Okay, excellent. Now just tune into the effect we've had. We've got the kidney one. We've got that lovely kidney one feeling of being grounded, the feet nice and warm, that energy coming up. But there's also another quality in there, I don't know if you can feel that quality, and that's that quality of free movement. There's a little bit of freedom movement in the hips there and in the joints down the body, and that's because we work the gallbladder and the liver meridian. So let's do a little bit of doing now, and we can cog in, connect in with point of the week, and we can find out a little bit more about how we can use the gallbladder channel to uh, get free movement in the body. So let's just tap behind kidney three and connect that lovely feeling in the feet all the way up into the lower burner so go up the inside back of the legs okay into the lower burner here and go down back the legs down to the little toe and up one nice and open okay so now we should be able to get that breathing down into the lower burner and this is really important because also the breathing connects with the lungs and it also connects with the heart so let's just do the basic lower abdominal breathing first we're going to keep that kidney one open we're keeping the hands connected into the lower dantian floating the head up opening up the shoulders and we do nice three nice breaths into the lower part of the dantian, lower burner here into the lower dantian. So it's breathing in, filling out the back, filling out the whole area with the breath, holding. Breathe out slowly, relax, feel the connection with kidney one. Breathe in. Hold it, relax, breathe out. Breathe in. Hold it, 
relax and breathe out. Connecting with kidney one. Okay, what a great start. Doesn't that feel great? Really nicely connected. And there's also something else going on because of that liver meridian and gallbladder we did in the foot. So let's go a little bit deeper into that. We're going to just do this nice, easy movement here, just testing this out. This is the liver twist, connecting down into the feet. And what we're going to do now is we're going to work the gallbladder and liver channels, and we're going to put in point of the week. So I'm going to just show you exactly where point of the week is first. Put that quickly up, as so you can see where it is. It's gallbladder 34, okay? Yang Ling Kuang, Yang Mound Spring. It's just on the outside of the knee there, and it's great for working the sinews and joints. It spreads the liver key. Remember I mentioned that on the foot, or kind of links up. Benefits the size of the body, but it's good for all muscle tensions in the back and the hips. And that's why it's such a fantastic point. And we're gonna link it up with gallbladder 30 that we did last week. Um, uh, in the next little sequence. Okay, I'll show you the slide later again, but let's just work it first of all. And this builds on what we've done on the foot uh, with the liver and the gallbladder points, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just first of all tap the body on the sides. I'm gonna work here around here, this is where the liver channel runs. Then we come down here, we're gonna create some space in the hips and we're gonna get right into gallbladder 30, really important there. So I'm going to right into gallbladder 30, keeping it nice and relaxed. And then we go down the outside of the legs. Just when you get to the outside of the knee, just below the knee, you'll feel this little knobbly kind of bony bit here on the outside. And so just, behind, just below that and in front of that, we have gallbladder 34. So let's really get into this point. We're going to just keep the knees soft. We're going to keep the hips relaxed so you can feel the connection down into gallbladder 30. I'm keeping this really relaxed here. Okay, and then I'm going to tap here. And as I do that, I'm going to relax the hips, relax right into over 30, feel the connection down into the little toe, remember? The little toe. And then feel it all the way up the side of the body here. Okay, and that smoothing kind of feeling there that you get from that point, that's the spreading function of gallbladder 34. We're going to continue down, down to the ankles, and then come back up, up the inside of the legs, that's the liver channel, and then back up to here again. And if you shake out your legs now, okay, just stand again, and now feel the, can, um, the, feel the quality of the joints. And I think you'll feel that fine, that the knees and the ankles and the hips have a kind of fluid, fluidity to them. They feel kind of released, and especially if you're a middle burner, burner person, you probably feel that stronger than most. That's the movement, moving the liver chi function of full breath 34. It's great, we use it all the time in shiatsu to help our clients. So let's do it a few more times and really get into that smoothing our liver chi thing. We're going to go back to 30. We're gonna keep that really relaxed and softening the knees. Going down the gallbladder channel, right down the sides of the body, just below the knee, tapping all around just below the knee, just below that bony bit that sticks out, and that is your gallbladder 34. Keep the knee soft, keep the ankle soft to open up the channel, and keep you, the whole spine relaxed, and then just following it down, and then up again. Okay, shaking out. Brilliant stuff, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Hold back at 30. Down the outside of the legs. Gallbladder 34, soften the knees. Feel the hips opening up. Relax the ankles. Feel that point activating the whole side of the body. You may even feel it up into gallbladder 21, even, maybe even feel it into the jaw there. If you really relax, feel that connection, just loosening the jaw, loosening the shoulders. And then down. And then up, a little channel. Okay, fantastic. Now shaking those legs out, and we're just going to stand again and check in to see how we're doing. Okay, what a lovely feeling. Now that feeling you can feel there is partly the kidney one, giving you that yin support, but 
but also you probably feel this kind of fluid feeling, maybe even up as far as your jaw, your shoulders, sides of the body. And that's the power of Google Rider 34. And if we check in with the twisting, just feel how easy that feels. And that's, again, the gallbladder 34 function of opening up the sides and smoothing the liver cheek. And as I say, on the physical level, it releases the tendons. And on the emotional level, it smooths our mood out. So we're nice and chilled and we don't get irritable about things. Okay, so it's really useful point like that. Okay, that's awesome. So that's moving the middle burner. Um, using the liver and using the point of the week. So now we can go on and we can work the main request today, which is working the um, upper burner. <clears throat> so what I suggest we do is we work systematically. We work through all the yin channels of the upper burner. And then once we've done that, we connect it with the lower burner because, as I mentioned earlier, the lower burner and the upper burner connections are really important once we've got this middle burner being smoothed out. Okay, so let's go. Let's do some stretches just to test out what's going on. And those of you who, um, especially those of you who voted for upper belly, you're probably going to figure out what's happening by these diagnostic stretches. So what we do is we do the lung stretch, focusing on the thumb, breathing in, breathing out, and stretching backwards. So I'm stretching backwards this way, opening up this part of the chest. Okay, that gives you an idea of the lung channel. Is it tight? Does it feel painful? Does it feel weak? What's that feeling there? That's your lung channel. Okay. Second meridian, second channel is the pericardium. That's this one. We stretch out towards the middle finger. Whoa, okay. This is the one I definitely need myself. I can feel that. It feels kind of weird, especially down the left arm there. And I can feel it connecting in through the chest here. But this, again, is this tight? Does it feel weak? Does it feel a bit wobbly? What does it feel? That's the pericardium. Okay, and then the heart channel, we bring the hands into the prayer position. We bring them up behind us. Open up, lung one. And stretch back. Open out. Okay, now what does that feel like? Does that feel tight under the armpit, a bit weak, or does it feel just about okay? That gives you a readout of your heart channel. Okay, so let's work from the lungs first of all. The lungs are related to grief and letting go. They're particularly related to the autumn time, so that we're going through an autumn period for the lungs. The most important thing for the lungs is to get the lung chi descending downwards through the body and to open up the chest and the upper back. Okay, so we do that through um, we can do that through doing exercises, and so we're going to do that by tapping lung one first of all. So if you find your collarbone and find your collarbone, trace it along until you get to the front of the shoulder, and then go down into this area here. That is lung one. Okay, and if you gently press in there, there's a good chance you're going to feel a sensation down into the thumb. That's the lung connective tissue pathway that goes down through into the lung there, okay? What we want to do is we want to activate this area. Sometimes I use sound, you can use sound like, oh, we've got neighbors that you don't want to, you don't mind disturbing. <laughs> we can open that area up. And the reason that you know, you'll know that you know, if you have lung, anyone with lung issues, it tend, the posture tends to go like this, and it tends to close up around lung one. So the idea is to open it out this way. This is the kind of stretch, opening up this way and opening up this area here. So let's go for that. And we're gonna aim down to the thumb. We're aiming right down to here. So if you look down your thumb, you should be able to see all the way down uh, to where your thumb is. And that's the lung channel. So if we're down here, Lung five, important point, and then we go right the way down until we get to here, which is where the lung channel ends. And then it switches around and it turns into the large intestine channel, the paired channel. We would have done this in February, can you believe it? That was so long ago, I can't expect to remember it. <laughs> go back up here and we get to the top of the shoulder okay and then it as you know it runs up into the nose there 
So it's got to hold a long connection there. So then we go back to the lung. And this is where we started our epic journey around the meridians. Lung one is the first point of the 12 meridian cycle. And we're going to get back there to it at the end of December. We would have we would have completed an entire loop. And what I'd like to do on the last session is I'd like to show you, we can well not to show you, we'll, together we can work together. We can go and do a doing exercise around that entire meridian circuit. That's a great exercise. And we can find out how all the channels connect up into one big circuit. Okay, so we've got the lighting test in here. We can go back up here. Just open this up a little bit more of a sound. That's it. Oh. <sighs> Brilliant. <laughs> okay, on the other side. Long one. <coughs> oh dear, I can feel. Interesting enough, I can feel a little bit of phlegm coming in the back of my throat. That's to the lung function of expelling the expelling the damp and cold. These points tend to do that. So I can feel it sort of coming out. <laughs> Slight tendency to cough is also another sure sign that you're working on the channel, which actually clicks up into the throat. So get into here, down the lung channel, down to the thumb, and then back up. to the shoulders. <laughs> yeah, definitely working. I can feel it clearing my lungs out. <clears throat> okay, the positive aspects of the lungs are valuing things like yourself, <laughs> valuing um, positivity, uh, things like that. Um, so there's lots of positives to develop with the lung channel. So we go down here, five, and then we go down to the thumb again, and then back up, all the way up, touch your intestine. And just do it three times. Okay, shaking out. Okay, now if you'd like a real proper meridian stretch for the lungs, this is what it is. We've done this before, I think where we link the thumbs together, like this. Breathe in, opening up lung one, breathing out, just gently go forward as much as you can go comfortably. Okay, and the idea is we press our arms this way towards the ceiling, pointing the first finger up towards the ceiling, and that opens up the lung channel. So we open up the throat, Sometimes you can even tip your throat this way to open the throat up, so it's like this, okay? Which also opens up the upper thoracic on the exhalation. Okay, then breathing in again. Breathing out. Lifting this up to open up long one. Okay, and then the third breath, breathing in, breathing out. Yep, okay, and coming out. And that's your lung, your lung stretch and your lung dome. And I bet if we check the lung stretch now, you're gonna feel a different sensation here particularly those of you who voted for the upper burner, but even if you didn't, let's just see if you can feel any difference here. And certainly I can feel a tingling, like a warm feeling and a really comfortable feeling now in this stretch that I didn't have five minutes ago. Okay, so that's the effect of opening up the lung channel. Okay, excellent. Now the heart has actually two channels related to it. It has the pericardium, which is the muscle around the heart, and it also has its own special heart channel, which goes deeper into the organ. So we can work both of those. We start off with a pericardium, that's the one that runs down the middle of the inside of the arm, and it runs into here, okay? And this is where you get a lot of uh, tension and obstruction related to emotional factors. Really is worth working this. Um, so you can, again, use the Darwin technique to do this. Remember that this was the stretch. Remember this stretch that we opened up this way? 
into the middle finger. <coughs> so now we're going to tap. The jab actually runs out and runs along here. It goes down through here, down the middle of the arm, into the famous Palace of Calm point, or at this point here, pericardium eight. So should we just tap? Tap it lightly. Again, depending on what you feel you need, you can either do very light tapping or even holding. If you feel you'd rather have holding, um, if you've got any obstruction, you might like to just tap it there. Any sort of feeling of stiffness. Just see if you can just do what feels right for yourself as we go down the arm until we get into the palm. Okay, working the hand here. Okay, and then up the other side, from to the top of the <coughs> shoulder. Okay, that's actually the triple heater channel up the outside of the arm. And then we go around into chest area. And we get down again into the hand. And then when you come back the other way, you want to go up this way. This is the triple heater channel, the pair channel with the heart vector. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay, one more time. Do the other side, opening up this area here, down inside of the arm, down to the palm, and then tapping back up the triple heater channel from this finger here. Round again on the chest and out. There we go, and brushing off. Okay. Oh. Wonderful. Okay, so let's just check out that pericardium stretch again. Whoa, there we go. That tingly, open, lightly warm feeling. That's the channel being opened up and affecting the pericardium right the way through there. Okay, actually, just leave this with the heart channel. This is a little bit more of a delicate channel. It starts on the armpit. Okay, and it comes, goes down through here, down through this point here. This is heart three, down to heart seven, the famous insomnia point and then goes down to the heart channel at the little finger there. So you want to take this a little bit easier. I'm going to just actually press into heart one here. This is the point underneath the armpit here. Just press into here, just in a calm, kind of relaxed way, opening it up. And then I'm just going to squeeze down. I think I'm just going to tap very lightly here and squeeze down the heart channel. Down to heart seven. I'm working right down here with my thumb until we get to here. That's your heart seven, and that has a very, very calming effect. You probably feel that if you just gently press in there. There's a good chance you'll feel that in the chest, in the upper burner. Very, very calming point, very good for the heart blood. And then we come down here and squeeze the little finger. And then now we can twist our arm around this way, and that border between the red and the white skin, and if you see that, that kind of border there, that's a bit further around, isn't it, about there, that's where the small intestine channel runs, so tapping along here. This is the gang channel, so it, it responds a little bit more to tapping than the heart channel, so we'll give that a good tap, go into small intestine 9 and 10, these points that's so good for the shoulder, and then round and back into the heart again, where we go a little bit, a little bit easier. Take it a little bit more gently. Just a little bit of light tapping there, I think. Nice and easy for the heart channel. Nice and hard. Let's make the most of these calming points there. Well, 
just such a great point. And then down, squeezing into the little finger and then picking up the small intestine channel. Small intestine nine and 10 around here on the sides of the, and the back of the shoulder. So I'm basically stretching my arm across this way to open up that. And then round and back into the heart again. Very good. Heart seven. Very calming point. Ideal if you voted heart and you voted upper burner, this is the point for you. Really, really great point there. Um, okay, brilliant. So now let's do the other side. So we're gonna, I'm gonna go into heart one first of all. That's into the armpit here. Gently massaging underneath, pressing inside, and then squeezing down. So tap gently down here. Part seven. And then up the small intestine channel and into this back of the shoulder here. Brilliant. Okay, so cool, just opening it up. Small intestine. And round. Part seven, just feeling the effects of that in the whole body, particularly in the upper burner there, just really relaxing, breathing into that point. And then up we go. There we go. Okay, brilliant. Okay, cool. So now we've done the upper burner. Let's just check the um, stretch for the heart and see what's happened. Just gonna shake out a little bit, open up those shoulders, hands in the prayer position, open up the armpits, and there we go. That feeling of comfort there definitely feels a lot more comfortable and more open all the way in there. And that's the power of working the heart channel. Excellent. So now let's do a little bit of connecting up before we do the um, clear the yang channels of the head to finish up. And this is really important because what we want to do now is integrate the upper burner work with the middle and the lower burners. Okay, so we're going to do a bit of shaking first of all, and we're shaking down that lovely feeling from the upper body down into the middle, and then down into the lower burner, and then through the knees and ankles and feet and right into the earth. Okay, excellent. So we're keeping that kidney one open. We're going to place one hand on the lower dantian and we're going to place one hand on the upper dantian, connecting with the lungs and the heart, okay? And we're going to use the breath to connect the two up together. Okay, so here we do, here we go. We breathe in and as we breathe in, we bring the energy or the awareness into the chest and then into the lower dantian, okay? So here, here it goes, like this kind of thing. Chest and then the lower dantian. Hold it, feel the connection between the two hands. Open up kidney one, float our head up, relax the hips. And then breathe out slowly, connecting the two hands. 
Okay, woohoo, that's a pretty powerful connection there. Really important for calming the heart, heart, connecting that with the adrenal system, uh, but it also helps connect the lungs with the lower dantian as well. So let's do it another couple of times. Lower burner, upper burner, relax in the middle burner. Breathe in, first to the chest, then to the lower burner. Hold, open the kidney one up, relax the hips, connect the two hands, feel the connection deep in the center of the body. And then breathe out. Okay, wow, that's such a powerful connection. We'll just do it one more time. And this time really emphasize the connection with the earth just to make sure we don't go crazy completely with the energy movement. <laughs> so I'm opening up kidney one, I'm trying to get myself, and I'm just shaking my energy down into the earth, anchoring here in the lower burner, upper burner, breathe in, hold it and connect the two hands. Just imagine there's like a uh, connection, a pipe or something through between the two hands. Keeping kidney one open, keeping relaxed, and breathe out. Okay, and then just checking in then. Okay, so feel that feeling. We've got that nice, warm, comfortable feeling in the upper burner, nice and calm. And now it's anchoring down into the lower burner and then down into the feet. And it's that internal connection that's essential for regulating all the three burners. It's that anchoring, freedom here, and then opening and calming and energizing the lungs, connecting that down into the lower dantian. Okay, fantastic work. <laughs> Let's see what we're doing, how we're doing for time. Perfect, we've got eight minutes left now just to finish off the clearing the yang channels. So what we thought we'd do with the theme today um, of gallbladder 34 is when we do the size of the head, we'll take it all the way down and connect it with gallbladder 34, all right? So let's do the back of the head first, and that's basically the bladder channel. So we're gonna start tapping the forehead, and we go over the top of the head and down into bladder 10, squeezing, the um, muscles on the lower, on the right on the back of the neck, this is the bladder channel. Okay. Just do that three times. Squeezing down. Okay, now we need to get that energy movement all the way down the spine. So I'm going to tap down as far as I can. I can't quite, quite reach it, just about reach my hands there, but tap them down. And then tap it down from as high up as I can. Down to the back. And this is a big advantage. You've got someone working with you on the class. It's ideal because you can tap each other. So much easier, but if you're on your own like I am, you have to go as high as we can and as low as we can here. Try to connect up. Move it down, down the back, and the legs down to the little toe, the bladder channel. Okay, so there we go. Rushing off. So that's the back of the head, okay, the bladder and the small intestine channels. Now we've got the front, which is the stomach channel. So we just pick that up around the eyes here, squeezing around the sinuses. And just squeezing around here. Okay, and the stomach channel runs down here around the jaw. Got light intestine 20 as well, part of the whole kind of same front of the um, front of the face thing. So the front of the face links with the front of the neck, 
We are talking about this right at the beginning of the session. Remember keeping the throat open and then it runs down the large intestine channel and the stomach channel. So connecting these yang channels, we do that by going around here, opening up the sinuses, squeezing down the front of the neck, and then we can tap down the front of the body, the front of the legs, the stomach channel, down to the feet. Just connecting it downwards. Downwards, down the sun channel, down to the feet. Okay, we've got stomach 36. Don't forget as we go down, stomach 36 is a really important point for regulating the digestion. It's also good for just clearing out everything down the whole channel. The further we get down to the end of the stomach channel, the more it connects with the head. Okay, so stomach 44 and 45 are used for clearing the head. Uh, they're also clear, used for getting heat out of the digestion, that kind of thing. Ah, wow, that does feel a lot clearer. So we've done the front, the back. So now it's just the sides. And remember where we're aiming for? We're aiming for the core bladder 34. We're going to connect up with that. And that takes us from the eye, all the way from the eyes. Okay, core bladder uh, one on the side of the head. All the way around to gold bladder 20 on the back of the neck in this hollow, opening up the heels of the hand. Okay, and then we go down to gold bladder 21. It's kind of like a revision of the whole month, isn't it? All in one technique. <laughs> Remember this one, this point sends energy down towards the feet. This. Okay, and then we can pick it up on the sides. However you want to do it. <laughs> down to go around 30. And then we go down and then da 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 around 34. There we go. So now we got to there, we've opened up the channel. Let's just see if we can open it all the way up. We're gonna relax the eyes, relax the side of the body, relax the neck, the shoulders the size of the body, and let's just get that core ground of 34, really connecting up the head with the feet, all the way down, and then rushing the side of the body. So now we've come full circle from when we started an hour ago, working the gallbladder and the liver channel on the feet. We've gone on a big journey all the way around, and we've come back from the head all the way down, back to gallbladder 34 again. So let's just feel the effects of that. A little bit of a shake. Yes, okay, good. So we've got kidney one open, connected with the earth. We've got a general feeling of fluidity in the body and that's all the gallbladder work. Nice solid filling in the lower burner, open in the middle burner, and we've got lots of activity and movement bouncing out the upper burner with the lungs, the pericardium, and the heart channel. Fantastic. Okay, well done everyone. So now let's just do three breaths to finish up. Head floating up, open up that kidney one, feel the fluidity in that whole body. And we're going to breathe in, sinking down, and then breathe out, floating up. Breathe in, sinking down, breathe out, floating up. Breathe in, sinking down, and breathe out, floating up. Okay, there we go. I'll put, um, there we are, but really, I really need that session myself. I can show you my, I can show you my whole body scan, look. Look at that, I was an upper burner person myself, and look at that, I really need that calming there in the heart area. I hope that really worked for you. And this is my, Three burner scan there, look. Definitely needed that today. So here we go. Had a great session. I hope you enjoyed it. And here we go. I'm going to put a heart in the chat. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, everyone, for all your appreciation. Really enjoyed the session myself. Got a question. Let's have a look. Um, 
Yes, I thought you might say that. Okay. Yeah, if you do feel tired, you want to take it really easy because some of these techniques are quite moving, you know, and uh, that's why it's really important to adapt them. Okay, so I'll do a quick flick through. Here's Gold Radder 1, 20 on the back of the head, 21 on the top of the shoulders, 30 in the hips, and then finally 34. It's just here on the leg. You just need to feel down, feel that little bony protuberance, which you can see just to the top and left of that red dot. And that's exactly the, the kind of like anatomical landmark that you can find. And it will, you'll find that you can just slide down. You find it's like a kind of little hollow there in the in the uh, sinews and muscles of the side of the leg. Okay, cool, great. Hope that's hope that's okay, Lynn. And uh, I guess I'll see you all next week for believe it or not the. Um, final month we're going to work on the liver and then we would have done an entire circuit all the way around so see you next week okay